Hi, welcome back. Now I am going to teach you about the rectangle command, the vector tools, the basic vector tools for 2D drawing. For that you have to go to the vector tools. In software you have to search for the vector tools. In vector tools you can find rectangle. This is in the toolbox or you can go back, uh, go to the pull down menu. Here also you can see. In pull down menu you take it here, create will be there. Here also all these commands are available. You can just can click here. This is the model space. In model space, any point you click with the left mouse button and you have to keep it pressed, not going to leave the left mouse button. You keep it pressed, then move the mouse, then leave to leave at some other point. Okay. Now you have an option to change the size. Now the default size is 27. Now I can change into 30. Or if I want to change the height also 30 or 25, I can do accordingly. Then there is a corner radius option also available. In corner radius, you can give uh, some value like 4. Okay, this is the corner radius. If you want to invert the corner, you can do by clicking the invert corner. But so then uh, center point if you want to move this to a particular point like that I want to bring it to the 0 0 I can change the value 0 0 and can bring it there and I have one more option like angle changing the angle see it's it just it will rotate for another 12 degree or I can bring back I will do 0 then create so this way we can create a rectangle we can use the rectangle command okay so uh, next is circle the next command is circle you click on this tool circle tool then uh, you have to click with the left mouse button somewhere in the model space keeping it pressed move the mouse leave it leave the left mouse button at any point then the circle review circle is created now you can ch change the center of the circle point I want to bring it exactly center and I can with 0 0 then I can change the diameter or radius like that diameter if you want to give the diameter value you can give the diameter value. I want to change the diameter as 30 means the circle becomes 30 then there is an option to keep this uh, circle as a uh, element of arc or uh, a single circle like that then next is uh, next command is a polyline so how to create a polyline so just uh, I am unticking these two options check mark taking the check mark out then uh, to create a polyline we have to click some some point okay click and then we have to leave the mouse button not like what we did in rectangle and uh, circle here we have to leave the button then go to some other point and click there just click and leave okay left mouse button click then left mouse button click and leave left mouse button click and leave uh, like this we can continue uh, drawing the lines this is a continuous line like that some elastic till the time okay we can bring it wherever we want we can go and click it this elastic effect will be there so if you want to stop here what we can do is that there is a space button space button space bar in the keyboard you have to press it so automatically that will be discontinued so this is the way we can make the polyline see suppose if you want to make a smooth polyline now, now you can see whatever the point we are clicking this become corner point and become a sharp edges if you want to make a smooth way of creating the polygon then you can check this box then start creating polygon again click leave it then click another point leave it click another point leave it click another point leave it like this this is a continuous and smooth lines will be created okay and again if you want to discontinue then spacebar 
then the third one is uh, this one more check mark we have to the add to existing line now i am i want to create one more uh, line but that line i want to connect with this the existing line so if i want to connect with this existing line this is the line then i will click here okay so it becomes a continuous one okay continuous one it goes just like that it goes so uh, discontinue it will be discontinued here also if you want to join with it you can join with it okay so as this one is a uh, smooth accordingly this this also varies okay if it is not smooth then uh, okay first when we, when when we were clicking that it was smooth that's why it has taken now discontinue to this if i want to join with this unsmooth way then it will be automatically like this okay now you get this okay then leave that this way we can create the polyline now you see the another command control then we will delete all these things so control a so selecting one and delete button delete everything will be deleted now next uh, command is uh, poly, uh, poly uh, ellipse okay next command is ellipse you just click it here then here also what we are you are you are clicking some point left mouse button click position move it as pressed only not don't leave the button and leave it some other point outside here okay then uh, it will be created as an ellipse now the size of the ellipse you can change it here width and height we can change it here and center point if you want to bring into some center point okay zero zero it becomes if you want to move to some other point also it will move okay and now it is going to 10 13 point okay like that x 10 y 13 then width also we can change like uh, width if you want to change to 15 it will be 15 now this one will be uh, some 8 like that you can change it okay then angle also we can rotate some angle if you want to rotate some 10 degree or 12 degree it will be rotated so, okay you can see this okay then create then close so this way we can create the ellipse delete it okay. now next command we are going for is the polygon in polygon also press uh, click at left mouse button you click at any point then pull pull it without leaving the mouse pull the mouse without leaving the left mouse button okay then uh, he, he, he you can change the number of sides here or center point also you can change or you can also change the size of this by the defining radius that is from the outer point to the center point the distance that we can change and you can uh, change the size of the polygon okay then create so this way we can create a polygon so next one is uh, a star star is just click the star icon then we have to uh, do the same procedure click some point click click at some point then keep the left mouse button pressed only move it leave it at some point and then again mouse you bring inside then click inside some point so this way we can create the uh, star okay we can also change the number of uh, points in the star like 8 or, or whatever the value we want we can keep it then also we can move the center point okay also we can change the radius outer radius that is from this point to the this point so some values we can change and from this point to the inner points value also we can change then create close so this way we can also change um, create the star